So we are going crazy right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Love here and today we are continuing our killing spree in Mythic, this time with the highest win rate, team or control right now in the standard, this is for the big boys alright, the stats are from Diamond and Mythic only and this is the version that has the highest win rate, so you don't see Jace, the only win con is Rage and man the rest is, is history, so we will just go directly into games, you will see everything you need to see, but man this deck <laughs> is fun for only one of the players players and it will be us this time. Alright guys, I think you will enjoy quite a lot of it and have fun. Uh, and huge thank you if you subscribe to the channel lately because we've been growing nicely. So thank you and if you want to be part of the channel, part of the family, uh, hit that button and you know get the notifications for all the coolest decks out there. Alright guys, have fun. Alright, we are going first and we have Kellan. Alright, so let's make sure that our lands are, are fine. So here we can get island. All right, so we play this one and we play island. Then we go, f okay, okay. I really enjoy the fact that we can play Kellan. Like it's such a great card. And I think it, it was supposed to be an island, right? All right, let's see what we are against. Oh no, Azorus control again. Oh no. Let's go for this one. This might be rough. This definitely might be rough. I mean, this is probably a Memorgush, but we don't have the mana. Do we really go with Kalan? It seems very, very weak, to be honest. Like, against control, it, it just dies. If you control that permanent, draw a card. I guess we could draw a card for free. I mean, let's go for it. We have lands for the next turn, so no. If it gets countered, that's fine. I actually wanted to ca to get countered because that's probably the lowest value target we have uh, for countering. We probably won't get any value, except maybe one mana point. Let's see it. Oh, and uh, let's go. I don't know, blue. All right, he has no instance. That's that's interesting. So he probably has Emperor Memory or something like it. And let's go for blue mana. We need more of it. We cannot cast Memory Dirt on this turn, and I don't think we want to go with Analyst. So we probably just draw the card. All right. Yeah, let's just go with the card while we can. Not the best value in the world, and not the best draws in the world, but I I think it gives us you know something something to play with. We're really under pressure. Okay, that's great. I want them to tap. I think that had to be a card that they drew this turn, right? So we are going Nessa. Yeah, they have no instance. And that was the instant they drew last turn. So that was the only new card. That means they c they don't have any reactions. So we can go pretty crazy here. Red mana. I don't know why red. Maybe we draw some. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying my best. This deck is wild, I'll tell you, man. Let's go for blue. I didn't fully count the mana. I guess we cannot play the Analyst on this turn. That's a little bit unfortunate. Unless, did we play a land this turn? Yep, we did. We just did. So we have to go Memory Dush, I guess. And we want the double land on the next turn, I think. Memory Dush is huge for this kind of deck. All right, I mean, I'm not sure how it goes, but I'm feeling kinda comfortable so far. Kinda. And we are getting wilder and wilder with every turn. Okay, first let's get the value. And that will be... let's go for blue, because we are a little bit short on it. And we probably want those memory Derush. And let's get green. And we get those elves. Alright, how many lands? A lot, all right, a lot. No reaction, all right. Uh, man, if they had one counter spell and they did, 
That was super greedy that they used it on, you know, what they used it for. So we are going crazy right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a, so we definitely won this. One red in the pool. Double green. And then we see what we get. Let's go for blue because we are definitely casting memorials here. Man, this deck is wild. I, if I want to play it super optimally, I should definitely like think longer about everything. Oh my god, we actually need all of those. Okay, I need to speed up, man. <laughs> I'll tell you, this deck has one upside. It's super fun for the player that plays it. It's not so fun for the other player. And he still needs to stay in the game because otherwise he's losing rank. So, you know, you have this advantage over your opponent. Uh, let's go here. I mean, we can... Okay, I think we can win on this game, uh, on this turn. Uh, I probably need to not mess it up, which is hard when you try to play quickly. Uh, but we can absolutely do it. I mean, we just stack a lot of mana. Alright. Now we need Darkologist. And let's go for the play. I mean, we can just play another one. We need to be careful about mana. We don't have green. This is our last green. Use Shigeki. And now we go with this. And we probably... Yep. I would... Honestly, I would scoop at my opponent's side right now. <laughs> and he will lose the game. We just need to hit our uh, finisher. And our opponent takes it like a champ, man. <laughs> takes it like a champ. And this lowers our mana a little bit because we are not getting two mana every land. All right, so we have only what? 15, 16 mana in the pool. All right, I think this is the moment for big memorials, right? We still have enough to go with Analyst again. All right, this is our finisher and this is our virtue. All right, we can go for the lands, four mana and we get what? Three, six, seven. We get seven mana out of four. But we don't have basics here. We don't have basics here. Do I have a permanent? This gives you what? Creature or land? We don't have Shigeki. We have Shigeki in the graveyard. So let's take one mana. Let's get the Shigeki. That's super important for a control matchup because this cannot be countered in any way. We cannot kill him probably on this turn. So th let's do some math. I'm playing single player, man. <laughs> so we get seven mana out of this because we don't have basics. That means we invest six mana and we get seven. Here we invest four and we get seven. So we have right now seven, eight mana. We can have 11 at most. Or we can go memory Derush. Man, my opponent is like a charm, but this is a very deck, hard deck to play, absolute, to be absolutely honest. Let's go, sorry. All right, man, this is a true puzzle. <laughs> and we go all over again. No way, I have the timer. I cannot play it in time. It, it doesn't, no, no. Oh no, do I get the timer? I don't know, man, what's going on. Man, this deck is wild in every way. We attack, I guess. Okay, I have no idea what happened here, man. <laughs> and this is their instant. They didn't have instants before. Uh, so my plan is that I will play Virtue. If they don't have counter spells, they cannot counter it and I win on the next turn. So I play Nessa first to check for counter spells. There are none. So I play a land, I get the mana, I play Virtue. That's okay. It seems they drew get lost on this turn, but that means, man, <laughs> my opponent is like, am I winning right now or am I losing? Uh, this is okay, tap. I like it. And that should be enough to win the game, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, we can get, okay, let's do it like this. 12, good game. So 12. 
and nine. That's a that's not enough damage, you know. That's actually not enough damage, but we're going with it. Nineteen. Uh, do I want this? I don't really want to. I can get a lot of life. I mean, there's no downside to it, to be absolutely honest, and he might try to kill us with Emperor at some point. Man, I feel kind of bad for my opponent. <laughs> well, uh, if this deck stays meta, uh, mirrors will be super interesting. Lockdown is fine, it doesn't really do anything. Yeah, they're dead. They don't have counter spells. And that means we just play Shigeki. We go for channel. I mean, let's tap the full mana and see how much we have. So this is 36, 51 mana. All right, let's use like three cards here. And we'll get Rage, Rage. I mean, we could go Virtue, but I will go with Archaeologist in case I need to, you know, do something or draw a, a turtle or something. I guess it doesn't draw turtle, but it's fine. Let's go for 10, in case he can life gain a bit. And that should be it. If he drew a counter spell, we just play another one. Alright, let's submit 0 and not make it more painful <laughs> than it already is. Man! Oh man, tell me in the comments what you think about this guy. <laughs> Alright. Honestly, it was really fun for me, but not so much for my opponent. All right, so we go with this one. We get the forest because we need to play the Kellan on the next turn. We also kind of need to get the red mana. So I have a bad feeling about this. Our opponent is, of course, on the play with the most aggressive thing he can get. And we have to survive somehow. All right. At least we live game with, the, with those lands, but we don't have the red mana and we don't have a way to get it, so that's not very good. And we also don't need double rage at this point, especially with memory Deluge. Alright, oh man, that's huge. This is insane draw. Alright. Man, I nearly messed it up. I nearly messed it up. We have to go like this then. Alright, we go Kalan. Now we can play this. And we should go blue, right? Because we need double blue for the Lush. Alright. Somehow, somehow we are trying to do it. And it is possible we ill timed explosion on the next turn. So we need to check the draw. I think we have a shot, man, even on the draw. Here's your honk. Oh, interesting. I don't think we want to play Nessa this, this turn. We could go for the Rage. Honestly, it's not bad, right? I don't think we need to sweep this. Alright, but their deck is... it's Gruul, so they, like, they are playing a lot of pump spells. So maybe on this turn we should just go with the ill-timed explosion. Because if we let him have a Swift Spear, I probably need to kill Swift Spear, but if I go for it, they will use this mana for like giant growth or something and I won't, yeah, they already checked their hand for reaction. But if I do it with the explosion, unless I hit 7 drop, I still don't do it. That might be really bad, man. Let's go like this. Oh, nothing happened, alright. <laughs> I guess, I was sure they, they are keeping something. So we live game two and we get better next turn. So that should help. Let's go green and blue. I'm not sure if I'm playing this deck optimally, but casting Nisa seems like, you know, really bad idea overall. Let's see if they use the mana or just swing. All right, two damage a turn is not a problem for me. Okay, I think this is the turn. This is how we do it. Alright, we go with the theater. Now we get the mana. We also will get the elf. Let's go for the rage mana. He's fully tapped, so we will get everything back. And let's go for the red one. Alright. Like, we are doing stuff, man. And now we can get three lands, right? That's perfect. 
All right, my mouse got stuck. So, uh, is it this one? I think we kill this because this gives them more mana and we need to throw them down as much as possible. Now we get three lands and three life and we are back to 20. Man, this deck is actually kind of fun, I have to say. And we'll play the Analyst as well, right? So let's go green. I'm not sure, fully sure what I'm doing, so I'll just take all the mana colors, but I think we only can play Analyst. And he's out. Man, he was on the play with one of the most aggressive decks ever, and we managed to just tank it, man. Uh, there was a monoret in the game, so no. Uh, so yeah, man. <laughs> I I'm kinda impressed, not gonna lie. I think we just played this. This will be a bit slower on the next turns, but I think milling those lands is important. Alright, I mean, this is a card though. This gives us options. Our opponent is passing the turn. Hmm. Alright, let's see what we like. Uh, we are going for the forest now. Alright, not the craziest turn of my life, but you know, it is what it is. Let's see if Celestus is on the play. No. Alright. All right, so what are we going to do here? We can try to play Nessa. She won't really accomplish much. I guess we get the elf or something. Listen, there's no downside to it, all right? There's no downside. Uh, Nessa like, has zero chance of survival on this turn, but we need to bait those counter spells somehow, right? and remove us. Oh, all right. Let's see if they respond to the second trigger. That's for sure green mana. All right, it seems that we are getting the value. Uh, so what do we take? Uh, I think a forest. All right, we got everything. So the question is, do we go with Analyst? I don't think so. I think we go with Kelan. Uh, even though we are not getting too good of a value for it. Like, if I play an analyst, they just, you know, sweep, kill it. Like, there's zero chance it survives. And this gives us the investigate. It's not like we'll ever need to play to lance a turn. At least not for a very long time. But this clue can be important at some point. So, you know, let's use the mana. And they still need to respond to Nessa. I mean, they don't. <laughs> I mean, they don't. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I cannot check my graveyard. This is a weird trigger. Let's go for green anyway. Man, those are lands, that's for sure. Alright, that, that forces a counter spell. Right? Like, they cannot allow us to get it. Man, I'm, no I'm not sure what's going on. I don't need to attack because this is Emperor mana, so let's just go for it and see what we get. <laughs> oh man, what? Oh, I know, I know. Their strategy is just to counter our big thing. Oh, okay, never mind. Scrap that thought. All right, all right. What a monster! I didn't expect this one, but true, true. This version seems to be popular since. Uh, CGB made the video. I already played a lot uh, against this version as Boros, but we usually perform nicely. All right, so they just keep this play. I mean, sure. I really expected Emperor. I guess I should wait and, you know, with the stuff. So if we play Memorators, they will probably counter it, right? With no more lies, so that's not an option. We can go Ill-Timed Explosion, that's, that's okay. I think this is a good play. It's something they generally won't counter, I think, but you know, it's still annoying for them. And we decline. Drawing two cards is great here. All right, let's get the value. And let's go for green mana, maybe. Man, the colors here, like you need to get used to this deck. Like there are so many small decisions. And let's go for what? I mean, island can be needed because we have two four memorizers, and there might be a turn when we want to still use it. Uh, what is the mana? Probably doesn't matter. Let's go for simic mana. 
and let's throw a card with it. I seem to be playing very passively, so we kind of need to, you know, try to think around it. So if we attack, that's probably the Emperor. Do they want the Emperor? Is it good for them? Kinda. I think it's kinda good for them. Alright. So far they are playing very very nicely and very smart. We have triple rage, but we don't have too much mana yet, so we need to... He's never tapping, so that makes uh, our, you know, making our plays a little bit harder, because we cannot get to the stage when we have insane amounts of mana, and they will probably keep, you know, keeping the counter spells and stuff. So they really want to kill us with this. <laughs> Alright, and as usual, they don't do really anything. They probably have more of those. That's my guess, I think they have more. Let's start with this one, so we get the Nessa value. Every time it's like an extra card. And let's go for Simic Mana. I don't think the Rage makes much sense, they will just exile the Graveyard, right? However, can they do it twice? Can they do it twice? Or maybe you just go with the Rage? If we go for what? Three? Three should be good enough, you know? Listen, I will try this strategy, we'll see if it works. I have three mana, so they need a hard counter spell. And they might exile the Graveyard, but that means that the Analyst with the milling are still there. Uh, because this is a fuel, right? If you don't have any lands, like you need some card to enable at least one, two lands so you can start getting the value. And right now it's a little bit awkward for them. Like, they can absolutely counter it in some way, uh, probably with exiling Graveyards, but they don't get as much value as they wanted to. And we still kill the creature, so, you know. Then we can attack with Nessa, maybe. If they enter, we can play another Nessa on our turn and, you know, go from there. Like, this will be a harsh game, but, man, I wish every Magic game was more like this. So, you know, there are so many decisions that, you know, the the player that knows the matchup better generally always will have advantage. In ter games where aggro just is on the play with 1-2-3, there are so little decisions that, you know... Alright, they actually invested so many cards into this. And they had the Emperor, <laughs> they are waiting. All right, and I, I think that now, let's attack with Nissa and see if something happens. We have a backup one, so I don't think we super care. And I don't want to mill myself too hard. You can see that they are responding to the rages at pretty high cost. Uh, they will probably pass the turn, right? They seem to be extremely reactive, which is correct. Let's go for the blue mana. We go red. And I mean... This is half of our win cons, but we have Shigeki. Let's go with this. Even though it's a small baby rage, uh, that is not great because we have Nessa. So if he doesn't respond at all, we get a lot of free mana. All right, we get a lot of free mana. So it seems their strategy is just to tank our main things like rages and just ignore everything uh, that isn't isn't a rage. Man, the mana colors on this deck <laughs> are not easy to play. Uh, let's go for the forest and go red mana and probably a blue one. I'm not, you know, perfectly playing it, but I also want to keep it going. All right, so we have how much mana? Five and okay, nine mana. That's a lot. That is a lot. I think they have a flanker in the hand. And they're waiting for the right moment to go to go with it. If we play Analyst... Oh, 
Let's go. We still have Shigeki, so we need to make sure that after he exiles our graveyard two or three times, we still have the rage for Shigeki. That's my plan, at least. Alright, and let's see. Okay, the, that's the big thing. Let's see if he responds. Alright, another one. Good. We are getting there slowly but surely. You know, they're only 17 cards deep, already having double flank. They play four. Uh, having double flanker is already good enough for them. Alright, do we go with the, another analyst? I think so. I think this is the play. And now they will sandfall. But that's pretty heavy cost, so they will have only two mana probably. And sandfall also... I don't think they have more flankers. Uh, you know, they might. If they have a really good draw, they will have the third one. But generally they shouldn't, and I think uh, we need to take this risk. We only have basic, so Field of Ruin is just a bad land. Alright, man. Alright. Man, I'll tell you, this is a very interesting matchup. You know, someone can say it's boring, but I'll, I'll be honest, it's so intense and I actually really like it. Alright. I think I will lose it, to be honest, because I'm not great at this deck, and our opponent is playing extremely smart, so it will be harsh. Uh, but we can absolutely do it. So what is the strategy? What do we want to really accomplish here on this turn? Let's uh, assume that he... So he has a counter spell for the rage, but he probably doesn't... Okay, I think I know. I think I know. Two lands. Okay, let's go for it. The big place. Oh, okay, I, I was wondering that, man, with Nessa, like, we have a lot of, you know, things that we can we can do, basically. How many lands? Um, not too many, honestly. Okay, let's go like this. This is the play. Because it mills, but it doesn't use the Analyst. Like, Darkologist is very similar, but it doesn't have the second ability, and we already have the second ability here. Alright, that's a memory drush. That's a heavy tap. It's interesting. Why now? I don't see the reason to play it now. Maybe they want a removal for Nessa, I don't know. Ill-timed explosion, not very useful. I think we just go with memory drush, honestly. It's it's good. We are at 16 cards, man. <laughs> we need to get this Shigeki going. Oh no. We need to get Shigeki going. So we have two mana. They they're red with the counter spell, so we need a lot of mana if we can if we want to go there. I think we just go with this. And see if they have another flanker. Do you have another flanker? That's three lands, that's not nothing. And that's also extra mana for us. Let's see. Like, this is uh, entering the stage where he doesn't really want to not react. Because we are getting more and more value with each play of this type. Alright. That's smart. Uh, but it also costs them a lot of cards. Uh, because that prevents all the extra li mana that we would gain from those lands. Uh, what do we have? So, Sky Turtle, Shigeki. Those, those are two cards we need to keep. Let's get the Mountain going all right i don't really want to play nessa unless i have nothing else to do not the cards i wanted and uh, let's go the land and i have zero idea let's go for this one i guess i don't want to meal my win cons all right all right, our opponent is down to five cards, possibly four, and if he casts Memory Dush, he has only one counter spell to play, so we need to... Is it already? All right, good game. He played it uh, extremely well, and I don't think I had enough pressure, you know, quickly that I can uh, go for the kill. But that was a really good game. Uh, honestly, I learned a, a lot, and I hope you guys do. Um, yeah, he played, so we can see as a control, you just need to counter those key stuff. With Jace, you have really nice matchup. So, because we are only on 60 cards and we are draining our library super hard. So, well played.
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this game. Man, this deck is weird, I'll tell you. It, play, it plays very differently than the, you know, control decks. Even though it's a control, it feels like completely not a control. It's more of a combo control. So, you know, you, you try to defend yourself, but you, you don't really have control over the game. You just try to kill your opponent without creatures, basically. And what I find interesting is this in this deck is that it has only one command. Look, imagine this card isn't here. How do you ever kill your opponent? The whole deck does nothing. So please, be careful with deadly cover-ups, because if someone extracts this from your deck, you are in for some serious trouble. I guess you can hit them with Skyrim or, like, or something. So, a uh, very interesting way to play the deck, and there are some interactions that we didn't really talk about. So, I mean, let's talk about them. Uh, Ill-Timed Explosion is probably the biggest culprit that this deck performs in the ladder so well. Uh, when I played Boros, I also knew what happens on the, the turn, turn 4 and 5, and it really hurts because this just sweeps everything. One of the downsides of this card normally is that not only you need to discard cards, but you also don't deal so much damage because, you know, you need to discard 4-5 drop at least, and sometimes it's not enough. Here with this deck you have Virtue of Strength and uh, Sky Turtle, so you play quite a lot of 7 drops for this kind of deck. That means you can sweep everything, including oversized creatures, or including like Swift Spear that gets a giant growth or something. So this is a really nice synergy, and the discard part, normally a big drawback. But here, we don't really care if the land is in our hand or graveyard, it's kind of the same for this deck, and you even very often want it in the graveyard, so you can get them back with Analyst and Rage faster. Uh, so yeah, like, discarding doesn't really hurt you so much and you still keep cycling the cards right uh, this deck really relies on chaining few of the key cards in together so if you can get something else uh, you know just cycle bad cards for the matchup and get to nissa memory Deluge, you know some rages and analysis it's all fine uh, also, the fact that you cycle in this card means that hitting Memory Dush is even easier. Uh, it's This is the second big card, because normally with this kind of deck, without those two cards, you would lag value very quickly, and you would whiff on the combo. Maybe one rage, they counter it, and that's it, that's end of the game. Uh, when you have Memory Dush and Deal Times Explosion, you actually have so much card load that as long as you have mana, and you have nearly infinite mana, you just keep going, and this is uh, the reason you can make those insane turns when, if your opponent cannot answer for single turn, you can just cycle 30 mana over the game or something. Uh, the deck, uh, something interesting I actually didn't know before playing this deck, when you cycle all of your basics, suddenly your mana gets way worse, because Nessa gets double triggers from those lands, so when you don't have basics, you only get one trigger per land, and that cuts your mana in half. That's a fun interaction that you will only notice when you actually are out of basics, and suddenly you don't have as much mana as possible. That's why Virtue of Strength sometimes is very needed, but as you have seen, uh, we can produce so much mana with this deck with Nessa, that sometimes you can rage for 20, even without the Virtue. So it's not super needed you also can uh, you know double rage or something and with shigeki and sky Tartar loop this deck just has infinite this is a really good synergy uh, simply because against control decks you will have some troubles generally uh, if they counter your key cards you might be in for trouble and shigeki channel is uncounterable so as long as you have a lot of mana and oh boy you have a lot of mana with this deck you can just keep getting two three rages per turn and just keep hitting them until they run out of counter spells of course exiling will hurt you and of course they might have enough counter spells so it's still not your favorite matchup but you can absolutely overpower them with basically brute force of, from this deck so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and that was honestly a deck I wasn't sure about playing, but I decided to give it a go. Man, I'll be honest, I really had fun with it. I can absolutely relate to anyone playing against this deck. It's super frustrating and games are super long. There are so many triggers, so it's it's not favorite part of the game for your opponent. However, when you are driving this deck, the deck is fun and you are basically playing single player with some, you know, cool explosions. So yeah. Honestly, very fun archetype, but only for one of the players. And to be fair, uh, if you are good at this deck, uh I, I needed to figure it out while I was playing, right? Uh, but if you play a lot of this deck, uh, it cuts uh, your 
thinking time a lot because you know the pattern. So, you know, if you are a player that will play five, 50 games with this deck, you will absolutely just go faster and then it, it's manageable. But still, there are a lot of triggers, especially with Nissa and those double lands uh, which trigger twice. So that's always a lot of thinking you need to do for all the right mana because if you lack one red mana for the final push, you cannot kill them and your deck just whiffed. So you need to be aware. All right. I hope you had, you guys had a lot of fun. Thank you for all the you know new subscriptions, for all the likes. Really appreciate your support on the Boros video. I know it was a little bit of a risky one, but I think uh, we did something very cool. And I was so happy to see those stats. And it honestly feels that now I'm a better player altogether just by knowing what to avoid as Boros, you know? We can we can smorg them. And also, this was one of the reasons why I knew this deck is pretty solid, because I played as Boros against this a lot of times, and I'll tell you, uh, it, it didn't feel great as an aggro deck. Uh, you knew that they will... Uh, out, absolutely out heal your damage and in three turns or something they will just overpower you so hard you don't even need to be in the game so it, it's super hard to kill this kind of deck with analysts archaeologists and nissa like they pop off so quickly and even if you go wide they just ill-timed explosion and you have nothing so uh, it seems to have a good matchup against aggro decks and probably one of the reasons why this deck has such a high win rate because right now uh, aggro is mostly there out on the ladder all right that was enough of rambling. Thank you guys. Appreciate you a ton, really. And see you tomorrow.